Hi, I'm Redheaded Riding Hood, Red for sure. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's daily celebration, kindness. Long ago, Seneca said that what men need above all else is a hand let down to lift them up. To be kind is always better than to be clever. Not that the two things are mutually exclusive, but they so often tend to be. It was Charles Kingsley who wrote in A Farewell to C.E.G. Be good, sweet maid, and let who will be clever. Do lovely things, not dream them all day long. And so make life and death and that forever one grand sweet song. And I think it was the same poet who gave the advice, do the work that's nearest, though it's dull at whiles, helping when you meet them lame dogs over styles. The world admires the clever people, but it loves the kind people. The memory of kindness lives on when the memory of cleverness has long since faded. One of the greatest scholars under whom it was my privilege ever to sit was John E. McFadden, who taught so many of my generation Hebrew and who opened our eyes to the wonder of the Old Testament. But it is not Johnny's scholarship that we who knew him remember, it was his almost Christ-like kindness. I remember a college football match at which Johnny was present. He always came to them. One of our Glasgow boys was hurt. He, he was assistant in a certain church with responsibility for services in a mission. That evening, there was a knock at his door. He opened it to find Johnny on the doorstep. You were knocked out at the match today. And John said, Johnny, it was Saturday, and I've come to see if, if I could take your services for tomorrow, his work at church. It is kindness that matters. No one can think along these lines at all without the thought of the mind going back to the saying of Jesus. Inasmuch as you have done it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Matthew twenty-five forty. Um, that's good. Uh, I went to um, the second CODA meeting I go to last night and someone had the book in her bag and I could see it sticking out um, that I'm reading by Dr. Amen and I just thought of it because um, he always talks about traumatic brain injury and I'm glad now because I didn't know but um, my ex got all our kids into soccer. He was fanatical about it. And um, while there is there's bad things about, Dr. Amon says even hitting the ball with your head can cause traumatic brain injury, but it's really, really bad in football. And so I'm getting very in into interested in um, and been listening to um, Dr. Amen, the brain, the brain MD, he is on TikTok. I will put a link below. Um, <clears throat> and the book I'm reading is You Happier. And that's what a friend I met at, um, at CODA last night <clears throat> was reading. Also, she had, you know, she had a hard copy. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to it on Audible. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm going live tonight, dinner with Red. I'm going to try to... <laughs> try to say some poems and not talk too much on on politics but just just chill and um I'm grilling some chicken and um and vegetables um shish kebab the vegetables but I'm probably just gonna put the chicken on there whole so I don't have to cut it all it's a lot of work but anyways, that's what I'm having and
So I'll see you tonight, 5.30 Mountain Time. It's 4.30 Pacific Time. It's 6.30 Central Time and 7.30 Eastern Time if you're in the States and then it's way late. It's tomorrow if my friend, my friends in the Philippines watch, it's um, very late if my friends in Europe watch. But, um, but yeah, dinner with Red tonight. I'll see you then. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.